Hey, how's it going guys? Today we are going to be taking a look at how to create a virtual machine in Ubuntu 22.04. Now, I will give a quick disclaimer here. Basically, I already have, I don't have a new server that I can set up in this video, uh, so you're going to have to run some of these commands on your own. But besides that, like starting about here, uh, I'll be able to show you how to set this up. We'll be able to set up a virtual machine and yeah, so... Let's get started here. Like I said, you're going to want to just do these by yourself. So if you pull up the documentation website, the link will be in the description below. But pull that up. You'll get all these commands. you got to run them on your Linux server. Uh, my server is Ubuntu 22.04 as well. So you'll just want to go from there. Okay, so we are logged in here to our server. What we are going to do is we're going to type in QEMU image create dash F Q cow 2 dash O pre-allocation equals off. So basically what this says is it's going to create a new QCOW2 disk with the output that we'll specify next uh, that is not pre-allocated. And we're going to say this is going to be beam networks unify test dot QCOW2 and we're going to say 64 gigs. So basically the output right here is going to be beam networks unify test and pre-allocation is going to be off. We're going to click enter. It'll format our disk. Uh, and then basically now we're just on to the final step. Um, so right here, we're going to create our virtual machine actually. So I'm gonna actually just open this up in the notes app. Actually, no, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a new script here. We're gonna say install the sh, we're gonna paste all of this stuff in here. Basically, you're just gonna wanna change a couple things. So instead of home-beam networks, my username is bntwx that's on the server. We're gonna switch this here then as well. We're gonna get rid of this virtual machine directory. If you don't know your directory, I would just say home slash your user that you're currently logged in as, as well as the disk that you just created. So we're going to say beam networks unify test. All right, and then let's go back up here to the top and we'll continue editing. So we're going to say beam networks unify test. Now it does not matter. This is the name of your virtual machine. It really does not matter if it matches the disk or not. I just you normally match it just that way it's a little easier to keep track of. Next, uh, we're going to go down here, Operating System, Ubuntu Jamie. If you want to do something else, there's a link that I have in the tutorial. If you want to check out different operating systems, memory is fine. Uh, vCPU is two, which means there's two cores, one thread per core, and that's spread across one socket. That's fine. CPU host. Really, this template command is pretty good. You can almost just leave it there. Next, network type, direct. And then for me, I have a lot of VLANs, and I'm going to throw this on VLAN 70, which is my testing network. And our disk is obviously what we just talked about, location. So this is where you're going to get your ISO image from. Now, if I close out of this, I don't think I have an ISO image. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have an ISO image installed. So actually, I'm going to install one just to show you how to do it. We're going to go here, scroll up. We're going to go to releases.ubuntu.com. We're going to download 22.04 LTS, and we're going to find the server image right here. But instead of downloading it from there, you're going to right-click, click Copy Link, and you're going to go back to Termius, wget, space, that ISO image. It's going to download this for you. Basically, what this just did is instead of downloading it to your computer, you're going to download it directly to your server from their website. It'll just save you time. You don't have to transfer it from your computer to the server then. All right, so as this completes... What we can do um, yeah so this is a link here to the OS info the operating systems that you can choose from there's all kinds of operating systems on here okay so now you can run LS to show you everything in your directory as you can see we have Ubuntu 22.04 blah 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 and we're going to go back into our script we're going to say nano install the sh let's go back in here to location we're going to get rid of this ex existing ISO image I'm going to paste this in Okay, so we are now back. I apologize for the interruption, but basically I had a few things wrong. I kind of forgot a bunch of commands here, but basically that is all fixed. So if you copy the command directly from the website, uh, you'll actually just be able to get that set up like right off the bat. So a few things that happened, uh, the VNC tags I had here at the bottom weren't valid, which I thought they were, I guess not, but basically that's fixed. The password equals password. You can change this to be a, any other password. Uh, it just has to be eight characters or less. The listen is also something I forgot, but that is fixed, as well as the kernel, because it didn't know where to boot the kernel from. So that is all. We're going to copy this command again, and we're going to paste this in. We're going to run this. And theoretically, it should just work this time.
there we go. So it says creating domain. Domain is still running. Installations may be in progress. So we're going to open this up. We're going to say VNC. Well, actually, we got to get the VNC port. So let's go back here. Scroll down. We're going to say Versh. We're going to run this command right here. VNC display. So let's paste this back in here. All right. So if you paste this command back in, we're going to say beam networks dash unify test. And this will say uh, colon six. So basically, you just need to add 5900 to that. So for example, 5900 plus six is 5906. So we're going to connect to port 5906. VNC and our password is going to be what we set it as earlier, which I believe, yes, it was just password. So if we enter in our password here, theoretically, yep, here we are. This is the Ubuntu installer, and this isn't just like a VNC session. So let's continue here. Just continue through the installation. I'm just basically showing you how to create the virtual machine. So everything beyond that is up to you. But obviously, this is an Ubuntu virtual machine. So that was pretty great. Once you get the correct command, it's pretty simple to do. This is also something I'd recommend. If you're creating a virtual machine, make sure you allocate all your storage ahead of time, because if not, it'll be kind of frustrating so go back here 61.996 basically you just got to tell it to use all of the storage that it has for some reason ubuntu only uses half by default so you can fix that just by following the steps i just showed you all right so that is literally all we have to do to install ubuntu to a virtual machine just let this create itself and after five or ten minutes probably you will have a fully functional Ubuntu virtual machine that you can use. So that is about it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.